did you think I wouldn't be reviewing the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics products? Because you know I would be doing that. So this is the Gold Blooded. I honestly didn't even realize he came out with another collection, which pains me to my core because I am a huge Jeffree Star stan. It's not like I don't follow him or don't look at him, but there was just like no hype about this. I feel like. What did you guys think? Because I honestly feel like there was no hype about it. And I assume, judging by the fact that this is squishy, that it's kind of like shaped like the Conspiracy palette or one of his other like multi sh like shaded ones. So this was expensive. <laughs> I think it was 62 US dollars, which is like 114 New Zealand dollars or something ridiculous. The US dollar to New Zealand dollar has gone up a bit. So this was a pricier palette. Um, I did end up getting the Orgy 2 palette and six of the lipsticks. And it was like 400 and something dollars from Medialish, which is the same price as the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. But it had free shipping. Jeffree Star Cosmetics website would have had more. So I did get this and it was a pretty penny. So I'm hoping to God that it is good. Let's, let's take a little prayer and let's see. Jeffree Star Cosmetics doesn't normally disappoint. So I'm not, you know, I'm not like, oh, it's going to be bad or anything like that. So let's crack into it. So this is an artistry palette. It is called Gold Blooded. So... Literally, I've seen nothing about this. So this is all like just fresh. I love the packaging of it as well. I, um, in my old beauty room, which I will have in my new house, I will have the pictures back up, which have all the packaging on them. So don't worry, I'm going to do that. But this is the packaging. It doesn't have a clasp, but it is like a brick of gold. Oh, this is like a hard plastic. That's the back there. So kind of like a bronzy color. And then we have this gold like i'm like can you squish these they, they ping back up but this is good this is good okay let's oh okay interesting interesting so my first impressions of this is it's very much so we have got a plastic sleeve and we have got a cover on the mirror hello there inception um I do really like it. It's reminding me a lot of like Pink Religion and Pricked. They look very similar with some nice shimmers in here. This Living Legend looks like that is going to be the best highlighting shade. So we have got all of the shades here. Very gorgeous palette. Very pretty palette. So I'm not going to lie. It's gorgeous. But yeah, I think we need to crack into it now and do some swatches and see what we really think. Okay, so here is the palette here. I am using a camera like this. So let's see. Hopefully this picks up everything. But we have the shade Inspiration. So remember on all, like, that's pretty. I like that. All, um, now we have Star Decadence. Mm, that's nice. Remember on fingers, the natural oils of your fingers will, of course, make the color a little bit, like, either more pigmented or less pigmented as well. So it's not a true representation. I love that color combo. That is a really pretty co color combo. Okay. I think it doesn't have stuff on. Honest Truth. So that one was drama that just happened. Then we have the Influencer. That's nice. I like that. Dust off my hand. Then we've got shade Eternal, which is Gorge. Courageous. And I'm just lightly, like, going into these as well. And then we got Living Legend. Which, oh, I knew I would love. And then we've got Perseverance here. I'm running out of arm space. Uh, we have Queen Supreme, Gorge. Gold Blooded, of course, the name of the palette. Resilience. Of course, the color of the palette has to be, like, the most standout-y one. And I think that's a really good standout. We have Internet Royalty, Trisha Paytas Color Perfection. Vincent Van Gold. Mm, I do like that, actually. Legacy here. Boss Mentality. There we go. And then we have Fire Phoenix here, which was mixed with the gold. Sorry. Uh, let me clear my hand. Fire Phoenix. Beautiful. And then we have Built Different as well. So that's the swatches of the whole palette there. I think it's a really, really gorgeous palette and color scheme. Definitely up my alley of colors. So now that we've swatched everything, it's time to go on to an eye look. Okay, so now I'm just going to pin my hair back. Let's get rid of that. And then we're going to really get into an eye look that we're going to go for. I think I'm going to tape it off. Let me just get some tape here. And I'm just going to 
type some here. So we can get a nice crispy line, crispy cream line there and there as well. So I'm not going to use any primers because I want like a true representation of like kind of what we're going to be doing today. So I think I'm going to start with, what am I going to start with? Not a brush that's that big. I feel like I haven't filmed a YouTube video in so long when it comes to beauty. And I'm like, where am I? What am I doing? What is going on here? I have no idea. Um, all right. So I'm thinking what I will do as well is I think I want to have my base colors are honest truth because that color there looks like the perfect, perfect base color. Let's put that on there. So these swatched brilliantly on the fingers and on the skin as well. So I'm hoping that that translates via a brush. I think so far that's very nice. It's a very buildable formula as well. And definitely the more you put on, the darker it gets. Like the more pigmented that's behind it. But that's a really good transition shade. Like it's a very easy color to work with. I feel like it's going to work with a lot of skin tones. I think that's a really nice, that's a nice base. It's a nice base that we have there. Nothing wrong with that. I think that's cute. I think it's, I like it. I'm going to use Perseverance now, which is this shade in the middle. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. Because I really like that. Come through, Mustard. Okay. There hasn't been a wall that is a lot of color payoff right now. And again, if you use a eye primer which i do prime my eyes when i normally do my makeup because the colors are so much more pigmented but i want to show you guys what this looks like in its like final form of if you didn't use that because not a lot of people use primers and they just use the eyeshadow and the eyeshadow should be able to just speak for itself do you know what i mean should be able to do that okay it's a gorgeous color i love this it's definitely giving like summertime in New Zealand. It is very hot right now. So this is like perfection. I love it. I love it. I don't know if I want to do, I feel like Living Le Legend I'm going to do as a highlighter for myself, but I really want cold blooded, gold blooded, sorry. I'm going to pop that like literally with my finger to get the beast pigment pale. And that is freaking stunning. That is so gold and nice. Look at that. Holy heck. Very much reminds me of like Uh Huh Honey by um, Colourpop. Like with that colour payoff. Or like the Fenty gold highlighter. It's very much giving that vibe. Now because I couldn't reach <laughs> the inside corner of my eyes. See I couldn't reach the freaking inside. I'm just going to get a flat brush just to paint in there just to stretch that out there it's also arrived so quickly like i ordered it just the other day yes that's stunning okay i'm loving it i'm loving it i've definitely gone for a yellower tone i'm going to use that same brush that i used for perseverance there because we like being a frugal queen here and i'm going to get resilience which is a nice color here I'm just going to pack this into, oh, oh, that's nice. I feel like I definitely did this eye look uh, when I had the yellow palette. What one was that one? The banana -y one. Because I feel like that's very similar shades. But these are colors that I go for. So this palette is very much up my alley. Like, I'm very into this palette. Like, this palette, when I opened it, I was like, oh, yeah. That's very much something that I would buy. Uh, not just because I collect Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but that is something I'd buy because I love the colour scheme of it. And I think the colour scheme is really good. And as you can see, the colour payoff... Woo! The colour payoff is amazing. Like, look at this. Glistening, gold, gorgeous, pretty. I don't know what else I want to do. So far, I have used one, two, three... Oh, no. One, two, three, four shades. I feel like I need to use more. I need to branch out a little bit. Do you guys know what I mean? I think I'm going to get Living Legend because that's the lightest shimmer. And I'm just going to clean off my brush that I used to do that in a corner uh, to do the, this part gold. And I'm just going to do Living Legend in here. Yeah, that gave it the pop that I wanted. Perfection. 
perfection. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Time for the under eye. Let's rip these babies off. And then we're going to do the rest of my face to make me look more even. Because right now I have beat eyes but not beat eyes. Alrighty, and now for under eyes, I think I'm going to go for a little bit of Legacy, which is this darker shade here. Bit different is, built different is a little purpley shade. Actually, maybe I'll go for that. I'm going to go for built different and I'm just going to put it on this under corner here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so it translates as brown. <laughs> Perfect. That's fine. Uh -huh. Definitely is like a nice subtleness here. I just need to blend out this side. Just so it's not so strong under there. So now it's nice and blended out. I'm just going to bring it up here slightly. And then I'm thinking directly under my eyes. Fuck it. I'm going to put some Queen Supreme in here. Well, let's get some pink. Because the pink is kind of confusing me. But I feel like it's probably going to go well together. So we're going to put that under the rest of the eye. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I, I think it's cute. That's not too bad, honestly. I feel like... Mm, do I want to darken the edges a little bit? I don't know. I think I'm liking it so far, but I think because I don't have anything on the rest of my face and mascara, it's not reading right. So I think what I gotta do is do the rest of my face, do some mascara, do that, and then we'll come right back. So we'll see you in a sec. I mean, it's pretty cute. Like, once you've got the mascara on and the rest of a kind of face done, like, it's, it's freaking cute. I do want to use Living Legend as a highlighter. So I'm gonna get my big fluffy brush that I said I wasn't gonna use before. I'm just gonna put it into living legend and just use it oh yeah oh yeah look at that that is a great color payoff oh that's fantastic oh fantastic fantastic oh i love that okay perfection perfection so that is the eye look there so hopefully you guys enjoyed that what do i think about the palette overall i i'm gonna get this out of the way sorry that my setup is not aesthetic it does annoy me um but in like six months time, it'll be better. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the palette here and this is Gorge. I love it. I do highly rate this. Um... <laughs> I do highly rate this and I think it is a good palette. I like the shimmers that it's got in it. I love these shades here. It pretty much reminds me of the best parts of Pricked, the best parts of pink religion and the best parts of the yellow palette which are all palettes that i really liked but i had favorite shades in them and i feel like this is all the favorite shades put together so if you do have those three palettes you probably do not need this logistically realistically you probably do not need this if you liked some of the colors in it and you wished it was all together this is the perfect palette for you it's definitely a very very nice nude i guess it's the kind of um well not nude palette but kind of like the nudey colorful palette that everyone wants like the pinks make sense because there's different shades of pink you can do very light nude looks you can do yellow looks you can do darker looks you can definitely get a big array of different looks and stuff like that i have tried to use as many shades without it being overpowering and i did end up using one two three four five six seven maybe seven shades out of the 18 that we have so i didn't end up using a million of them but i think the color work looks really well with them it looks really nice it's like a look that you could go out and just be like woo and it's not too crazy or anything like that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what you guys think i think for the price point definitely worth the money but if i already had the other three palettes and i wasn't a collector i would not purchase this one um simply because it would just be all double ups and everything like that but if i didn't have the other ones and i really wanted all of the colors kind of mixed together this would be the perfect palette so that was my review on gold blooded it is a really pretty gorgeous palette and I do like it. And I'm very glad that I got it. And I'm glad that I did not look at all the hype because this is so pretty. It's so good. Like, I loved Mini Jewel Breaker and I feel like it gives me a lot of those kind of vibes together too. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Love you so much. Bye, bye, bye.